There's been reports that Samsung solid state batteries are being tested in electric cars. I don't know which brands are testing them, but apparently it's happening. So if you were to buy an electric car in say a year or two's time with a solid state battery from Samsung, how much range would you actually get out of that electric car? Well, here are the numbers based on the data we have from Samsung. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. To give you some context, guys, my EV, the Xpeng G6, it has an 87 kilowatt hour battery and it, it gets around 570 kilometers of range right 570 kilometers so that is 354 miles of range if you put smaller wheels on it it'll get more range than that anyway it's got 20 inch wheels just for some context now if you were to use samsung's solid state battery in this car and let's say the battery was exactly the same size about an 87 kilowatt hour size battery what kind of range would i expect to get well considering the energy density range should theoretically be around 1,000 kilometers or around 600 miles. That's quite a lot, yeah? And also considering the fact these batteries can charge in around 10 minutes, you can see why there's a lot of excitement, especially from myself lately, seeing some of these batteries actually um, become what looks like very, very close to being reality. When Samsung announced the pivot to solid state battery chemistry and production research, it pegged, it said 2025 was the year it would have its first prototypes and 2027 was their deadline for those batteries going into EVs. But it looks like they're actually a little bit of ahead of schedule, which is crazy for, because when you think about it, solid state battery companies have promised everything and delivered very little so far. The head of Samsung Electromechanics just confirmed that Samsung's solid state battery is going to plan it's ready and it has achieved the highest energy density hence capacity to size ratio in the industry for i mean to be honest that's in comparison to existing batteries you can buy in the industry not in comparison to other uh, prototypes but it is a similar energy density to catl's condensed battery catl's condensed battery the new version of that battery has an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram. And this Samsung solid state battery has the same energy density. It's also 500 watt hours per kilogram. That's around about double what we're seeing in, for example, Tesla 2170 battery cells, right? Similar NMC chemistry batteries. When I say similar, I mean batteries used in electric cars, NMC chemistry batteries, similar to Tesla's 2170s. Uh, whether that comes from LG Chem or other manufacturers, Panasonic, they're, at a, they're about that number, about 270 watt hours per kilogram. So these batteries are nearly double. That's, you know, that's pretty insane. And that really does show you that it is pos would be theoretically possible to get around 600 miles of range or maybe even a little bit more than that, maybe even closer to 650 miles of range from that size battery if you were to put that size battery. Now, I don't think people will do that. I think they'll use smaller batteries and that will reduce the weight of the car significantly. That'll help with range too. But I think you don't really need 650 miles of range. I don't think people are gonna want any more than 500 miles, except in the case of vehicles that are for towing. So pickup trucks, you know, large vehicles that wanna to tow RVs, tow caravans around, then that would be ideal. Samsung will start investing in mass production facilities, they've said, ready to supply prototypes for the company's other divisions to place into their 2026 crop of devices. So new Samsung products like new phones will have solid state batteries and they'll have uh, probably a much longer life. Be a big disadvantage then for Apple if Apple can't get these batteries or at least can't find a manufacturer to supply them with these batteries the, the lifetime of their, their iPads and their mobile phones, their, their battery lifetime will be a lot less than Samsung's products. That's just inevitable. Since Samsung's solid state battery is oxide based and remains stable, small cells with the technology can go into its wearables, watches and other devices that require flexible shapes like its Galaxy Ring fitness tracker. After building the mass production facilities and confirming the viability of its solid state battery technology in real life scenarios, I think that's happening right now in EVs, Samsung will expand the areas of its application in 2027. So Samsung is saying that 
that's when these batteries will be in electric cars, 2027. Yeah, I know Toyota have said the same thing. And Toyota have been saying the same thing since 2014. They said it would be in all their EVs in 2019, then 2020, then 2021, 2022, 2023. Now they're saying 2027. So I wouldn't believe Toyota because they've just lied too many times and they won't show anyone their prototype. CATL, on the other hand, the biggest battery company in the world, well, they are real and they work quickly and they understand batteries. Toyota doesn't really, let's be honest. Toyota still use nickel metal hydro batteries from when I was a kid. I mean, I think I remember when I was working on job sites um, in the building industry back when I was about 18, 19, so 25 years ago, that's when nickel metal hydro batteries were a thing, right? They're not anymore, but Toyota still use those batteries. So yeah, Toyota doesn't have any solid state battery. If they do, it's just a prototype that'll never be real, I don't think anyway. CATL, on the other hand, they're saying that their batteries will be mass produced solid state in 2027 as well. So that's two battery companies, Samsung and CATL, that appear to have batteries that really will be going into EVs within a few years' time. Besides the record high energy density and capacity of these batteries, Samsung solid state battery technology has another, has another important advantage, that is cheaper mass production. Price is important. I mean, you can have the best battery in the world with insane energy density. I mean, theoretically, solid state batteries can have 10 times the energy density of traditional lithium batteries, right? Theoretically, they could. So that could happen. But if they're really expensive, I mean, really expensive, then no one's going to care, right? So cheaper mass production has been a big focus. And Samsung have been testing a solid state battery manufacturing breakthrough called roll pressing. This technique eliminates the need to seal the cell with the slow, warm, static press or WIP process before placing it in water and applying up and applying a huge amount of pressure under high temperature to sinter the electrode and electrolyte materials into a solid state for stable performance. That's traditionally how solid state battery, battery manufacturers are making the batteries. It's, it's pretty expensive to do that. If Samsung succeeds in pulling this off on a mass scale with its solid state cell prototypes this year, it will have managed to address the biggest hurdles for solid state batteries before the mass adoption of the promising battery technology, such as production speed and manufacturing costs. So production speed is going to be crucial for Samsung because they're going to have so many customers lining up to buy these batteries. There's going to be really just so many brands. Think about it. Would you want uh, just traditional, you know, cylindrical or prismatic cells in your brand new supercar? No, you wouldn't. You'd want the best. You want high energy density battery in your supercar. You want to race that thing, maybe potentially. You want the best of the best. And that's going to be a huge amount of demand, but you're going to be looking at aeroplanes. There's going to be helicopters, drones. There's so many different, so many different use cases that these batteries are going to be used for. So Samsung being able to mass produce these batteries cost effectively and quickly uh, that will be game changing because no one else is doing that yet it does look like from what we're hearing that samsung are ahead of everyone else can't say that this is 100 percent correct from but from what i've read it looks like that is the case it's pretty exciting guys evs will have by 2035 they will have a thousand miles of range lots of them will there'll be plenty of choices not to say you even want that but that will be an option if you want it. People are not going to be saying anymore, oh, you can't get an EV if you want to tow because they don't get enough range. That just won't be a consideration anymore. They'll just buy the right EV for their use case, the one with heaps of range that other people won't need. There'll be an option for absolutely everyone in every use case. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.